The U.S. federal government offers a tax credit for those that purchase an EV. The credit ranges from $2,500 to $7,500 depending on battery size. Essentially, all battery electric vehicles qualify for the full incentive, because all electric vehicles have batteries of 16 kWh or greater. Some plug-in hybrids also qualify for the maximum amount, like the Chevrolet Volt and the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. You don't get the money as a discount at the time of purchase, but rather, it comes back to you at tax time, as long as you actually owe more than that to the feds. You can take instant advantage of the incentive by leasing, because the money gets credited to the dealer, but dealers don't award full value to the lessee. Once an automaker has sold 200,000 qualifying vehicles, the rebate begins to go away. Specifically, it enters into a phase-out period, which extends a number of months, and diminishes over time. The question is, when will Tesla hit the phase-out, and when will the rebate hit zero? Keep in mind, there is no limit to the amount of qualifying vehicles an automaker can sell from the time it hits phase-out, until the time it hits zero. So, in a perfect world, the automaker doesn't hit the mark too rapidly, until production is capable of peak speeds. Then, once the mark is hit, the automaker would be wise to dish out as many vehicles as possible, as soon as possible. This would give more consumers the potential to receive the full credit, or at least a fair portion of it. Ben looks at how many vehicles Tesla has sold thus far, how many it intends to make sell in the future and when the company should bottom out. He is looking at around April of 2019 as his data-driven estimate, with Tesla hitting 200k in October of 2017. Although for our money, we think it is still more likely to see this number hit early in 2018, Tesla's in production estimated numbers for the Model 3 for a certain month, starting in July, are not anywhere near the same as delivered in our minds. But, take a look at how he lays it out, and his reasoning behind the results, and come to your own conclusions. Remember that the incentive could go away immediately for all manufacturers, if the current administration so chooses. Also understand that just because it expires for Tesla, has nothing to do with it expiring for competing manufacturers. Automakers just bringing competition to market a few years down the road, will enjoy the full credit for quite some time, as long as there is still a credit. If the federal incentive expires prior to taking delivery of your Tesla Model 3, will you opt out? If you realize that the incentive may expire for Tesla, and you haven't yet taken delivery, will this be enough to cancel your reservation and choose another EV? We wonder how many people will actually pick a different vehicle, or simply wait it out if the rebate goes away.